Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Uh, before we get started with our happy Sunday message today, do me a favor, if you can see me, hear me, everything's okay on our transmission uh, on the wonderful Periscope, hit the screen, tap, 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 give us some hearts, and uh, there you go, I was going to say make some comments here it looks like we've got some comments so good deal hey guys good morning happy happy sunday hey before we start here's a uh, something awesome to know right today's november 29th 2015 now i don't know if you guys knew this or not but today is november 29th 2015 and what's really neat about it is that this is the only November 29th, 2015, uh, that you will ever, ever receive. So, uh, man, I'll tell you what, guys, this is a big day, so use it wisely, use it well, take advantage of it. Before we start, though, I want you guys to slide over on your screen and share this post. I want you to slide over on your screen, share this post uh, so that you uh, can do your part to get as many people as possible to uh, to be to, to watch this uh, this happy Sunday Periscope message. Uh, I've got my trusty notebook, bam, with my notes on it. I know I got some chicken scratch handwriting, but that's okay. Uh, what's going on, Justin Murphy? Uh, so guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dive in with our happy Sunday message today. Uh, and and you might have saw on Facebook, you might have saw on uh, Twitter, everywhere I posted it. The topic for today is why do we do what we do? What motivates us? So why do we do what we do? What motivates us? Uh, you know, I was, I went to the movies yesterday and uh, after the movie, I was walking out and uh, just this idea popped in my head. And when I got back home, I, I just started writing about it and um, I started searching the Bible for, for some confirmation and I found it and um, it was really it was really good. You know, I started thinking about why we do what we do, you know, and not just like, okay, why did we walk right? Why did we walk left? Why did we drive straight? Why did we go to the grocery store? Not things like that. I mean, those tough, those big, those long, those strong, those hard decisions. Why do we do those things? Why do we do what we do? What motivates us to do those things? And I wrote something out here. It says, sometimes we get lost in what we're doing and we forget about why we're doing it. And I think everybody can kind of um, associate themselves with that idea, right? You know, getting just lost in what we're doing. And that doesn't mean lost in the sense of we feel lost, but so engaged in what we're doing, whether good, bad, not, doesn't matter. See, that doesn't matter right now, but we get so engaged, so lost in what we're doing, so overtaken by what we're doing that we forget why we're actually doing it. What set us on that path in the first place? What put us down that road in the first place? So, I'm thinking about this and I start saying to myself, well, man, this actually happens for a long time sometimes. You know, sometimes I even wrote it down. So sometimes, uh, th you know, this, this time in our lives can go on uh, for what essentially feels like a lifetime. You know, sometimes it can go on for so long that it feels like an absolute lifetime. So, you know, we get in these, these, uh, I don't know, these, these, these races, these challenges, we, we set these goals for ourselves and we're driving, we're driving, we're driving. And everything that comes with it, it comes so strong, it becomes so much that we actually forget why we fell down that path in the first place. We forget what motivated us to do it in the first place. Sometimes even, sometimes, and this is what ultimately, in my opinion, we don't want to happen, sometimes we get clouded by the things going on. Now, it's one thing to be lost in what we're doing, right? It's another thing to be to be uh, just just uh, clouded, clouded by things going on. So sometimes we set out to do, uh, uh, let me think of anything. Let's say sometimes we set this huge goal, right? We're, 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 um, we're setting this goal to raise money. Uh, we're setting this goal to raise money for a, uh, for a charity. Um, but then all the expenses that come into raising money uh, start clouding us because now we're focused on we got to cover the expenses versus raising money for the charity. So what I'm doing here is I'm explaining to you guys that 
there comes a time where we have to stop, right? We have to stop and we have to ask ourselves the second part of this question here. The first part is, why do we do what we do? But the second part is, what motivates us? What motivates us? So I start looking for this confirmation in the Bible and I find Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. Uh, again, it's Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, and it says, A man's heart deviseth, deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. So I'm going to say this again. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. So I start thinking about that, and you know, I say to myself, man, I'll tell you what. You know, Maybe, just maybe, we are supposed to follow our hearts. Maybe we are supposed to follow the path that we set for ourselves, right? We, 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 all the decisions that we're making and everything that we're doing, maybe we're supposed to follow those things. But just maybe they were never ours in the first place. Just maybe they were never ours in the first place. See, following your heart is actually the easy part. I know some people think that, <laughs> excuse me, I know some people think that, man, it's tough to follow your own heart because there's always people that are pulling you in one direction or the other direction. And there's always people that are, that are uh, telling you that, oh, maybe you're not right or maybe you're wrong. But it's, it's, it's quite easy to follow your heart, right? Because ultimately it's your decision. But did you ever think to yourself that you're more powerful than you think because God is a part of you and therefore it was his plan the entire time? Right? Because ultimately, a man's heart divides, saying you devise your own plan, your own way, essentially. But the Lord is directing each step you take. So when you say to yourself, oh man, I, I, I think I, I did it wrong here, or I think I did it wrong there, here's a secret for you. And I'm going to tell you this, and, it, and it, should, it should get you, it should be good enough for you. I hope it is. Here's a secret for you. If what you did had God first, you never went the wrong way. If what you did in your heart, in your mind, in your, 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 your soul, in everything that you did, if everything that you did was with that feeling of, I want to please the Lord, I want to come first to, I, I, I want God to come first to me, then guess what? It was all meant to be. Now, here's, here's the hard part, right? Because we're talking about, well, you got to follow your heart. But sometimes we feel like we are being led or our heart is guiding us down the wrong path. And the reason for that is because in your heart, God lies. And ultimately, he lies there saying, listen, I've got you. Now, I know I know that you might not think this is the right path for you. I know that you might not think that this is the right way to go. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it is. Now, ultimately, you have to decide if you trust that word or not. I was speaking at a um, at a conference in, in Ocean City, Maryland, I think it was last month, and I asked the gentleman, I asked the gentleman if, uh, if they had ever hit on a lady before, and they said yes. And I said, well, and there's about 100 gentlemen there, I, I guess about 100 in the room, and they said, yes. I said, well, did you marry that woman? They said, no. I said, well, did she turn you down? They said, yes. I said, so you've hit on a woman. She turned you down, and you didn't end up marrying her. They said, yes. I said, well, were you upset, disgruntled? Um, did you feel some kind of way when you hit on that person, and they said no? And they were like, yeah, you know, I did. I said, but aren't you happy they said no? And they said, yeah, because I married my best friend. I married the woman of my dreams. You see, so you got to ask yourself, maybe you don't understand right now. But remember the second part of Proverbs 16, 9, it says, but the Lord directs his path. So again, following your heart's the easy part. Trusting in his direction is the hard part, right? So think about that. Because every time I do something myself, what I'm saying to myself is, you know, is this the right way? Is this the direction God wants me to go in? Is this where and what I'm supposed to do? Guys, you got to remember this. You, you, you got to remember that as long as you put God first, you can't misstep because he's placing each foot. You guys get me? You guys got me on that? So ultimately, it should be harder to follow your heart than it is to trust God. I mean, if we walk around and we say that, 
you know, we trust God and, and not just on Sunday. I mean, we trust God every day, right? Not just Sunday between the hours of nine and two. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not just saying Sunday during church. I'm telling you all the time, if we trust in God that he's guiding our steps, then ultimately it should be harder to believe ourselves than it is to believe him. So that's what we need to think about. We need to think about where are we putting our faith? Are we putting our faith in our own decisions or are we putting our faith in the fact that he guides our decisions? Because it is completely different and ultimately it guides you in a completely different way. So in closing, I want to say this. I wrote this down and uh, it really got to me. It says, you can't shake shake God's plan for you. You can't shake God's plan for you. Even when you mess up, He will direct you back on your, or better yet, his path. You can't mess up what God's got planned for you. You know, here's what I want you to understand. You can't mess up what God's got for you. You can't say to yourself, well, oh man, you know, God wanted me to do this or God wanted me to do that. And and ultimately, uh, you, you, you know, you did the wrong thing. So no, here's the beautiful thing about God. He doesn't give you a chance. He gives you multiple chances. He gives you multiple opportunities. Basically, if you fall off your path, but come back to him, he will line your path right back up. And the best part about that, the best part about that before we close is this. You've got nothing to do with it. I want you to think of that love. My goodness gracious. You've got nothing to do with it. You, it is impossible for you to affect the almighty God's plan for you, as long as you believe in him first. So guys, this has been your happy Sunday message. It's short. It's sweet today. It's right to it. Remember, why are you doing the things you do? What motivates you? Does God motivate you first? Ultimately, that's who should motivate you beyond anything else. Because if you allow God's word to motivate you first, He will continue to put every foot in the exact spot it's supposed to go in to get you ultimately where you need, where you are supposed to go, whether you understand it today or not. So guys, we're through. I hope you appreciate today's happy Sunday message. And um, my goodness, I'll tell you what. I think what, what I'm most excited about is where we're going every single Sunday. Because every single Sunday, we're going to come on Periscope, and I'm going to throw these on YouTube, and I'm going to put them on uh, philgerdes.com, and I appreciate you guys, too. Love you guys. And uh, we're just going to keep letting God lead every Sunday's message. That's what we're going to do. We're going to let God come right into our hearts and decide for us what we share each week. We're not going to plan anything. We're going to let God do the planning every single Sunday. So, folks, I love you. God bless you. Remember, lead with love in everything that you do and have a happy, happy Sunday. God bless, guys. Have a great day.